everybody and welcome back to a very special holiday themed video. It is coming up on the gift giving time of the year and I love this time of year not because of the gifts but because it's the time of year when we get together and we spend time with our families and remember what we're grateful for and why we love each other and you get to snuggle and wear socks and be with your doggies and you know you get some presents too. And first of all, I just want to say that one of the nicest gifts that you can give to someone who is giving you a gift is letting them know what you want for Christmas and what, what would make you happy. I can tell you how many times I ask people, you know, like, well, I would love to get you something for Christmas. Like, what would you like? And they just say, oh, gosh, I don't know, you know, whatever, whatever. And then it's like you're stuck trying to pick something that you think that they would like and just, oh. I'm a Capricorn and I would rather you just tell me what I can get for you that would make you happy. So when the holiday season comes along, I know that people are going to be getting me gifts and I try to be really clear about what would make me really happy for the holidays. Now, not everybody is as upfront and clear and distinct about what would make them happy. And for those people, it can be kind of difficult to shop for them, especially if you're a person who is a little bit conscious about the environmental impacts of all of the crap that we buy for Christmas, all of the just like plasticky, plastic wrapped crap that clutters up people's homes and nobody really uses and it's just supposed to be like a stupid gift that you look at for five minutes and then throw away after Christmas is over. Drives me nuts. What I prefer to do is gift people gifts that they can actually use or that will improve their life or their day in some way or maybe even encourage them to think about their choices a little bit more if they don't already and basically just make living a happy uh, ecologically more responsible life more possible and easy. So without further ado, these are some of my favorite gifts to give during the holidays. First, I've never met anybody who doesn't like straws. Some people say that they don't like straws, but then once I force them to use a straw for a while, they actually realize that they love it. True story. What I don't like are all of the freaking throwaway plastic useless straws that like break as soon as you take them out of their package and then they get thrown away everywhere and now there are just millions, billions of them probably floating around in the ocean. So instead, what I really love is using these stainless steel straws. Now they have the thick kind, which are like this. Can I see you? Not only do they make excellent binoculars, they're also great for drinking smoothies. So if you have someone in your life who loves smoothies, definitely consider getting them some of these awesome stainless steel straws. They also have these skinnier straws, which are great for drinking water or juice or tea or whatever you love to drink. And I have to say, these fit in your mouth a lot nicer than these big guys. You know, there's less, less tooth interference with the skinny straws. But these are really necessary if, you know, you're drinking like uh, thick smoothies or something like that. Now, if giving someone just some straws makes you feel like a crappy gift giver, what I would do is this. This is still on my wish list, but they have the mason jar lids that have the holes in the center for the straws. What I would do is I would pick up like a two pack or a four pack or a six pack of those. I would pick me up some of these awesome, tall, but easy to grasp mason jars. They hold over 20 ounces. I have some hibiscus and licorice root tea there in the bottom. What I would do is I'd take this, put on the lid with the straw hole, which I covet, and then give the gift of an awesome little to-go teacup that they can use not only to brew their own teas, but also to go and refill at places like Starbucks. And it has a little bit more character than the ones that you just buy. And what I love most is that it really cuts down on the plastic. It's totally reusable. And obviously you can personalize this in a number of ways for each person that you are giving as a gift. It's also an easy way to knock off a lot of people who are on your list at a time. Like if you have coworkers that you have to buy lots of different small gifts for, or teachers or friends, whatever. Sorry, my lighting is going nuts. It's what happens when you use nature float into the darkness. A great gift to go with your to-go tea tumbler is tea. You can order your teas in bulk like I do and then parcel them out to different friends. Or if you really love your friend, you can just go ahead and get them one big container of tea like this and then they'll be set for like the whole year. 
And something that I love about this setup with this particular tea, which is hibiscus tea, is that hibiscus tea is great for cold brewing. So you don't have to use hot water to brew it. So something that you could do with this is put your hibiscus tea in the night before, fill it up with water, and then let it sit on the counter or in the fridge overnight. And when you get up in the morning, you have this beautiful, brilliant, blushed tea. And it's delicious and easy. You don't have to worry about burning your hands. And it's super duper nutritious and high in antioxidants. That's win-win. You can also get a couple of different kinds of tea, make your own tea blend. I would use some predetermined recipes just so you don't end up making like some kind of weirdo combination that just doesn't taste good. Something simple like lavender and hibiscus or chamomile and lavender for a bedtime tea. And if you wanna gift these, again, you can just put them into whatever size mason jar works for you. Or I found these awesome little organic cotton muslin bags that are perfect for putting pretty much whatever you want inside. But you could just fill this guy up with whatever type of tea you like, drawstring, a little tag, and it would be gorgeous in a holiday gift basket. I found this particular brand of bag, which is called Leafico. I don't know. But I got 12 of these little muslin bags to use for like my own bulk shopping as well as gift giving because you can go and fill this up with rice or beans or flax seeds or pumpkin seeds or whatever floats your boat strikes your fancy. And these come in different sizes. So this is the smallest size. I also have some medium sized ones in the mail coming to me right now, which I will use more for my beans and grain stock up. And then a great gift idea, I think, would be to get a few of these, a few of the medium sized ones, maybe a few of the mesh style produce bags that I've been using for years and are wonderful. And and then find a pretty but also practical carry bag that you can gift to someone all at once and just set them up for sustainable shopping. Just give them a little kit that they can take with them to the grocery store or the natural food store. They can get their bulk items and they don't have to use all those gosh darn plastic bags that drive me crazy. So all of those would be great options for someone who's interested in reducing the amount of waste that they are creating. Or it would be a great gift to give to someone who isn't interested in reducing the amount of waste that they're producing. And just get them thinking about that a little bit. I'm kind of a butthead like that. Like, I buy presents that I think people should want. And then eventually they either start to appreciate the presents that I give them, or they get relieved when I stop buying them presents. There are many ways to solve problems, kids. Another great type of gift is the type of gift that encourages self-care. So one of my plans for this holiday season is to make several batches of my DIY scalp and hair growth oil, which I did a video about. You guys can find the recipe up there. And when I'm making this for other people, for it to be a gift, I'll be a lot more selective about the types of essential oils that I use. I won't use anything that's like too smelly. I probably won't add in the fenugreek. Like it'll just be simple. It'll probably be coconut oil and some sweet almond oil mixed with peppermint and probably some Moroccan argan oil and some rosehip oil, just to make it a little bit extra luscious for whoever receives this as a gift along with a little ingredients list and a short how-to set of instructions and make sure that they know that when they use this, they should do it loving and appreciating themselves and taking the time to nourish themselves all year long. This is another one that again, if you do like a big batch or you make all of them at the same time, you can knock out a lot of gifts all at once. And it's kind of a unique gift that I bet a lot of people haven't heard of before as far as like oiling your scalp for hair health. But it's something that I think a lot of people would be open to and they'd probably see major benefit from. I mean, it feels amazing and your hair grows out so nice. Another DIY self-care item are these little sprays that I like to make to hydrate my skin. Now, I'm kind of a weird hippy dippy chick and I don't mind spraying stuff that smells funny on me, <laughs> but some people can be kind of fussy. So when you're gifting this to other people who may or may not be like super hippy dippy like me, the easiest and most delicious one that I make is just rose water. I order a nice big container of the rose water and then I get some of these small spray bottles that are nice glass blue, put a ribbon on it, it would be adorable. And then you can just use this to spray any time of the day just to refresh your face, give it a little bit more moisture and it smells lovely. 
Something like this is really inexpensive and easy and again you can buy a bunch of them at the same time and just fill them all up and knock out a lot of gifts all at once. My next awesome gift idea are insulated water bottles. So this one is by the brand Corksicle. It's, I would say this bottle is perfectly adequate. I'm not sure this is, oh my god, there's still water in there? I'm not prepared to say that this is like the best brand ever and I even see a little bit of rust developing right over here. It's, it's really no big deal and it easily scrapes off. It's certainly not unsightly. And there's no rust on the inside. And I've had this guy for a little over a year now, so that's really not bad at all. But there are tons of options when it comes to insulated water bottles. Obviously, Corksicle brand. You guys know I love my Hydro Flasks. I've talked about it so many times. And insulated water bottles like this, they're such a great gift to give because you can use them for water to keep your water cold. That's especially important in a place like Hawaii here where water gets hot so freaking fast or they can be used for hot beverages as well which we all know is lovely to have this time of the season but hydration is so key to health and encouraging the people that you love to stay well hydrated stylishly is in my opinion such a nice gift bonus points the straw fits in the hydro flask i mean it doesn't close with it in but if you're just sitting at your desk or something Okay, so my last gift idea for the 2017 holiday season are these. It's what I mostly got for Christmas. You guys know this is what I mostly get for every Christmas. Books. I do like ebooks, that's fine, but there's something about a physical copy of a book that I just can't get from an ebook. And so I'm one of those people that loves books, and I love gifting books too, because obviously there are books available on like every subject ever, and if I go to one of those brilliant, beautiful, big used bookstores, you can go in and literally find a book for everybody on your list, and it's not too expensive, and if they don't like it, they can just either re-gift it to someone else or sell it back to the bookstore for some credit so that they can get what they actually want. So I happen to know what book is in here. This is probably... Yeah, this is one of the Brene Brown books that I'm getting for Christmas because I just I went ahead and got all of her books because she's amazing. And I think that Brene Brown books make an excellent Christmas gift because A, they help people in your life be better people. They help me be a better person. And communicating, especially being able to communicate about vulnerability and shame to feelings that affect our behavior so strongly and getting the important people in your life on board with those subjects and getting them understanding them and talking about them with you and being able to spot other people's behavior when they're dealing with vulnerability and shame makes such a difference to the quality of the lives that we're able to lead when we're interacting with each other. The other great thing about gifting Brene Brown books to people on your holiday shopping list is that if they don't like it, if they refuse to read it, if they say that it's like stupid, you know they're an asshole and you know that maybe next year you don't want to be friends with them. And I think knowing the truth about who your friends are is priceless. It's a great gift to give to yourself. So I am excited to open up these and I've been talking with my friends about maybe starting a Brene Brown book club and going through all of her books and just having some good talks. Maybe you can get all of your friends the same Brene Brown book, like you could start with Gifts of Imperfection and then if you guys love it you can end up getting the other ones, but you could start by all of your friends the same book and then start your own book club so you can start having meaningful conversations and getting to the roots of why we are who we are and and the way that we feel every day all these feelings that are just so hard to sit with and end up creating so many addictions and so much bad behavior and i think learning about this and talking about this stuff in this day and age is so important to where humanity is going okay and it is my goal in life to try to get her to go vegan that's that's my goal in life Brene I'm coming for you she has security for that I'm sure all right everybody so those are some of the gift ideas that I have for this holiday season I hope those may have inspired you or you might have had some light bulb moments about people who would perhaps love or appreciate some of these types of gifts 
Everything in this video to the largest extent possible has been linked down below. Although a lot of this stuff is available from your local stores and it's always nice to support small local businesses. So I hope you enjoyed. You guys know the drill, like, subscribe, share with anyone who you think might be interested or if you wanna drop any hints about what you want for Christmas. And as always, until next time, make better choices for your beautiful self and take really, really good care. I will see you all very soon. Bye.